but I think we grow the most when we're in these seasons of change. Well, as I, I said, we have seven children, so chances are when you have seven children, you're going to get a mixed uh, reaction to the news that, hey, we're selling our house and we're moving to Texas for the next five months at least, and uh, we're going to do this thing called the Family DTS. Some kids were super excited for big change and are like, just have an adventurous spirit and think that's really fun to live life totally differently. Um, while other kids um, were really happy with the way life was and were not super excited to leave it. And then, of course, the one or two that weren't quite as excited as the others about it. And, um, and we, did have, we did have one that was uh, pretty, that was, that was upset and, and a little bit, he's, he's sort of our, our, our homebody, sort of our one that gets comfortable in his life and in his environment. So change, he doesn't deal really well with change. So that was sort of understandable for him. But once we came, it didn't take long for him to acclimate. Once he met a couple friends, uh, things things changed fairly quickly, and he um, he he ad he adapted pretty quickly. You want to walk with them well through it, and their feelings are legit. Um, looking back on it, and just something maybe we learned through family DTS is that our kids didn't really get a voice in this particular decision. Neil and I were praying about it, and we were talking together, and that's good. But I think we would, we would involve our kids in the process a little bit more. Um, but we have learned along the way um, to value the truth that the Lord speaks to our kids too, and He's not going to contradict Himself. So it's not dangerous to ask our kids to pray about something that we're considering and ask them to hear from the Lord on it too and share how they're feeling and what they're hearing. We wouldn't just like make a um, bilateral decision, the two of us, and then announce it to our children, hey, this is what we're doing. But we would have probably involved our kids in the process a little bit more talk to them about it leading up to our decision and get a little bit more feedback from them and have them pray about it. So, so we definitely learned more about, about that along the way. For this initial move though, it was just really being understanding and compassionate to the ones that were struggling. And even the ones that were super excited to come, they had to say goodbye to you and it was hard. And, uh, but it's been, it's been so good and the Lord has been so faithful to all of us, every single one of us, even down to the two-year-old who doesn't really like, <laughs> he's just going with the flow. Um, the Lord has been, he's been good and given us, I think, just a greater capacity to um, want to understand our kids and their feelings and their thoughts. And um, yeah, so it's, Transition is transition, change is change, and it's oftentimes hard, but but I think we grow the most when we're in these seasons of change and growth. And so if we can look beyond the right now, this is uncomfortable and maybe even painful to like, what does the Lord have for us down the road and keep our eyes kind of on more of a, an eternal perspective, um, then it's totally worth it.